there are multiple stories of people eating bread underneath the table of someone else. You ever wonder how that bread got there? In Luke chapter 16, verse 19, there was a certain man which was clothed in purple and fine linen. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the master's table. And also Matthew chapter 15, starting in verse 22, just then a Canaanite woman from the region came and kept crying, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely tormented by a demon. Jesus did not say a word to her. And his disciples approached him and they urged him, Send her away because she keeps crying after us. And he said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and she knelt before him and she said, Lord, help me. And he answered, It isn't right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. And she replied, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. So how does the bread get on the floor for everyone to eat? Back in Jesus' day, they did not have utensils. People ate with their hands. So before they would eat in order to wash or clean their hands, they would take bread and they would rub the bread between their hands and the dirt would come off their hands onto the bread and then they would throw the bread onto the floor. And that's where the people would come and sit underneath. The dogs would come, the beggars would come and they would sit on the floor underneath the master's table and wait for that bread to drop. So just want to share that little Bible nugget with you guys. God bless you.